Herbert, who can give us the driver's eye view on this lap from the morning session. Yeah, that sort of sliding back end typically out of that final chicane to sort of give it drive down towards uh, turn one. You know, about 325 sort of kilometres or so into turn one. Break in, a little bit bank, trying to keep it sort of middle of the turn left. Really, it go quite wide generally through uh, turn three a lovely corner gives you a lot of exhilaration there my favorite corner turn four very very deep that you can go in then it opens up you get on the throttle hard now as you go down towards uh, turn uh, five and I think this is where the car is a little bit understeery generally but it acceler accelerates out perfectly as we go towards to a seven seven always trying to kiss the curb on the inside using more on the outside he missed the, in the, the apex in the first one lovely turn nine at the top of the hill always using all the curb that you possibly can and of course turn ten a little bit changed, used to go a little bit further on, now it's sort of a little bit shorter, but it really does test the car, especially on this sort of long left-hander, really does lean onto the back end, can be quite tricky, quite bumpy through that right-hander, and as we're coming to that, so this final section, that final chicane, just got to be clean, it's like anything, kissing the kerb on the left, kissing on the right, being able to get on the throttle without uh, sliding at the back, which we saw there from Roman, and then driving across the line, so again, it was a real 